Wanted to say hi. It's teacher Greg here. And look who we got here. Hello. You Irish ninja. Every Fool's Day. <laughs> and then over here we got one too. Hello everybody. Good to see you all. We're going to start off with a song here. Oh, nice. Last week we did Lean On Me and now we're going to do Stand On Me. I mean Stand By Me. <laughs> oh, sounds a little um, uncomfortable. Oh. My foot! My foot! You're standing on me. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light you see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't shed a standing with you out there hope you're doing well hope you've had a good week so much love. I don't have too much new to share but it's been a good week for me I had to return a box of animal crackers to the store yesterday what? there was a broken seal the seal oh, come on. the seal was broken what? the seal was broken yeah. oh, what else our friend teacher Jamie's gonna come over here and uh, teach us something important about health for the week I've got a couple of fun, healthy nutrition facts to share and just some fun facts in general. Fun facts. Like, did you know that the average American will eat 12 pounds of chocolate in one year? They haven't that been kinda, in my house. It didn't surprise me very much with my habits either. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's a lot though. Think about it. 12 pounds. That's, that's a lot. I can't, 12 pounds. That's about as much as your head weighs. Yeah, wow. So it's like a chocolate head. Chocolate head. I think I could eat more than that. I know, right? Yeah, mm. in a year. We're only three months in, and I think I've eaten my years full. <laughs> yeah. And if there's any, anyone else out there who doesn't want to have it, I'll have yours for you. Oh, there yeah. you go. He'll, he'll help you with your chocolate <laughs> rations. I will, too. So uh, another kind of interesting weight-oriented food fact. Did you know that the pound cake got its name because the original recipe called for a pound of every ingredient. Oh, that sounds like a big cake. <laughs> right? That sounds like a heavy cake. You have to like roll it home. Right? Yeah. As well as yourself after eating yeah. it. Whoa. I once had a sponge cake, but and then I realized it was actually just an old sponge. Oh. <laughs> How did that taste? Mm. <laughs> I, I buried it in frosting. <laughs> oh, there you go. Smart thinking. Smart thinking. Well, you know, after you have that sponge, I bet you needed a drink of water. Great time. You know, and one thing that 
is a cool fun fact. If you are thirsty, but you're not in the mood for water, you could eat a cucumber because a cucumber is actually 96% water. Oh, wow. So you kind of get rehydrated eating a cucumber. Excellent. Cool and stuff. It's, it's got some of that tasty cucumber flavor in there that's too. That's right. It's not that's, so plain as water. That's, that's true. That's very true indeed. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if I can find something else fun to share today. Okay, so here's kind of an exciting fun fact, but don't try uh, to explore this fact on your own at home. Peanuts, interesting enough, contain an oil called glycerol, which is used to make nitroglycerin, uh -oh. key ingredient in dynamite. So, it's so bad though. Yeah. Dynamite's made from peanuts. So I'm gonna cool. know what's going on if I see you at the grocery store with a big <laughs> bag of peanuts. <laughs> right. And if you're allergic to peanuts, you're probably allergic to dynamite. Es muy posible. Yeah. I hope we're all allergic to it. I hope so too. Boom goes so, the dynamite, y'all. Boom. There's my fun facts for this week. Brady. Oh. There's a story about those folks, right? Here's a story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. Here's a story of a man named Brady, baby, bringing up three years of his own. There were four men living all together. One man, three boys. They were all alone. Till the one day when the lady met his fellow. And they knew that it was much more than a hunch. That this group would somehow storm a family. That's the way they all became the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. That's the way they became the Brady Bunch. Have a great week, everybody. Good times. See you next time.